Greetings, Ms. Daniels here. Flattery is the nicest compliment. I'd like to flatter ST41438 for his processing videos. <clears throat> Very useful. Um, I have been toying with processing for about 24 hours now, and I must say I'm quite pleased with uh, everything I'm seeing. I'll just give you a quick rundown of something I uh, was inspired to do after watching Mr. Stee's videos. I had, um, I've done this, I'd written this, written it, I probably copied and pasted it from somewhere, but this is three lines follow a mouse, so let's show you what void setup. Um, uh, this is the start of uh, a more dynamic, um, more dynamic processing app. If I'm using the wrong term, I'm sorry. Um, size is, uh, well, width and height. And it's void draw. In order to get a dynamic application like this one, which is very basic, watch this. It'll eventually show up somewhere. There it is. In order to get a so-called dynamic application where this one is essentially just as I move the mouse, mouse x, the background changes. Mouse x times 3, so it goes from you know gray, black, gray, white, etc. And it follows the objects, the three lines here, follow the mouse. Not very interesting, but you couldn't do this unless you had void draw. Um, and you couldn't do it, <coughs> I'm sure, pretty sure, pretty sure, that you couldn't do it unless you had set f uh, mouse x and mouse y to float which essentially means that it has a, a number with decimal places. So uh, let's, working from Mr. Stee and his uh, processing stroke and lines, I went ahead and took some of the code from this one. Uh, and I'll stop this and I'll close it. Oh, looks like I got a little bug there. Uh, hide it for the time being. So what I did is I took his idea here and then I modified it a little bit and now with uh, the background is set the green is set uh, it's RGB so the green value I've set red to 255 which means it's bright red normally and then adding green so what do you get as I move mouse Y up it's all red, which means that the green value is zero. And then when I move it down, it goes to a very bright yellow. So you can make the connection red and green creates yellow. Now I've also added the mouse X to the stroke um, so that as mouse X moves around, it's kind of hard to see, but as you move the X, you can see that line moves and there we go. So as I move it left and right you can see it goes up the screen. Not terribly fascinating but uh, demonstration of void, draw, void setup and void draw and using the float. You have to have use, you have, you almost, I'm almost positive you have to use fractions to get um, to get the mouse X and mouse Y values. Now the next thing I need to learn is how to get print mouse X and mouse Y into the console. Thanks for watching, and if you know processing, um, please um, take a look at Khan Academy. We can use processing for creating um, training applications uh, to help people understand geometry, chemistry, physics, math. Please, it's not just an art tool, it is an education tool, and we need to build those tools. Thank you for your time, and happy computing. Oh, and thanks again to STE1438.